Well, with youth in today's society, um, with the negative imagery, with social media, TV, film, Twitter, um, what would you say to our youth um, in a positive light to block out all of this negativity? Well, I would say to them that they should let this uncomfortable time that we're all experiencing now lead to a period of growth. You know, the thing about being uncomfortable is that it challenges you into action. And right now there's a lot of racial and political tension in our country. Um, a lot of people are upset. There's a lot of anger. Uh, there's a lot of fear. And I think that they should use that to, um, you know, kind of spur themselves in, in, into action, to doing something. You know, let this, be a, let this be a true call to action. So I would just say to them, stay involved, stay committed, um, you know, stay vigilant and stay informed because now more than ever, ever in this period of where what's an obvious fact is somehow being spun into being fake, I think it's more important. Hi, we are here at this amazing Tuscany estate located in the highly coveted community of Stonebridge Estates. Mostly what has happened. That is awesome. What can we see you coming up in next uh, and in your future? Um, I, I, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I wrapped a film called Coda, um, which was uh, a, an intense and delightful experience. I, it's about a concert pianist, a classical musician who has developed psychological problems that he can't play anymore. He has is, he is become so insecure. Uh, but other things happen in his life and, um, well, I, I won't tell you whether he gets Don't his confidence back or not. <laughs> but that's, that was my last movie. So I do a, a lot of piano playing. Do you? Yes. That should be interesting. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, Patrick. If you could well, do one thing for me, look on that camera. Well, that for it. So my wife and I, Emily and I, hadn't written a movie before. Yeah. I'd never been the star of a movie before. Yeah, but yeah. we had Judd and Barry and Mike and all these other actors supporting us and believing in us. So that, that was really, really helpful. And honestly, actually, for a very low-budget movie, this, the schedule was really fast. But yeah. the shooting of it was actually a lot more fun than I thought it would be. It was awesome. a lot less stressful. And that's what counts. I thought, I was like, <laughs> all right, put your head down, time to work. And then I was right. like, I'm having the time of my life right now. Oh, isn't it that was the best? so fun. Isn't yeah. that the and you were on both sides. Yeah. Of the, uh, that's got to be the best. It was fun. It yeah. was really fun. Although I did, you know, sort of be like, all right, from the producing stuff, I'm going to take a little bit of a backseat. Emily took care of a lot of it once we actually started shooting. So awesome. she. What can we see you in next coming up? Do you have any? Well, else? we're. I'm going back to do actor most of my life, uh, and directing is relatively new on the spectrum. Yeah. But I love it. You I love just it. love it. Yeah. If you had to choose sides, don't make me do that. <laughs> Come on. Well, in a perfect world, we'd have both. That's right. That's yeah. right. No, I mean. There's a way to balance it, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you also act in it or just directed it? No, I just directed this one. Um, okay. I have a project on the horizon that I'll be both in front of the camera and behind the camera as well. I'll be and doing my that? Clint Eastwood thing. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. What, tell us a little I, bit about that one. Well, I can't say anything just yet. Yeah. I'll keep you posted. OK. <laughs> the one that we're going to be seeing here, yes. can you tell us a little bit without spilling the beans on it? I sure can, because okay. this one's done. So yes. you can hear about okay. it. Yes. Um, it's a short film called Temporary. Mm -hmm. And it's about a veterinarian who goes to people's homes and does in-home pet euthanasia. But it's a dark comedy. I'm a dog lover. So I know. If I see this film, am I going to run out crying? No, you're not. <laughs> well, you might cry a little bit, yeah. but you'll also laugh. A situation to go somewhere else to find peace and to find yourself, that confidence, that power, that... Yeah, well, for me, I mean, like, you know, I kind of try to, like, test myself, like, as a human being. Like, yeah. you know, when I was a kid, I'd kind of just stay in my corner, and I did, like, drama and some sports a little bit, but I kind of didn't branch out and, like, jump into, like, art or painting, and I just kind of tried to stay in my side. But now it's kind of, like, kind of, like, liberating trying something new, like doing a dance class or, like, trying something that, you know, most people wouldn't peg you for. So, so I feel like spiritual freedom, I mean, that kind of, I don't know, that kind of reminds you you're alive. And I think a lot of us are kind of, like, moving on autopilot sometimes. Yes. And it's important to remember yes. they're still, still learning to We're be done. We're humans. Yeah. We're humans. Not to get super meta on right. you, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that's how I feel. Like, yeah.
Christina Buckner, and I'm at the 49th annual Hi. NAACP Image Awards, and I'm here with Jeannie Mai. Yay! Your show is being nominated. How do you feel? Major, daytime talk show series. Yes. Honored, man. We already won. Shoot, we're here at the okay, NAACP yeah. Awards. I just watched it like this week, so <laughs> we're good. So how do you feel being here tonight? Excited. There's a lot of amazing, talented people. I want to make sure I get to say hi to everybody. Yes. And we're going to celebrate all night. Yes. So, a couple questions. One is diversity in TV and film. How do you feel about your role in TV and just, I mean, the way TV is changing? It's changed within the last, I want to say the last decade, but drastically within the last few years. A lot more faces like you and I, a lot more colors. How do you feel about that? I feel it's not enough. We need more. We need more stories told. We need more cultures celebrated and we need to understand a little bit more of everybody's backgrounds and why they think the way they do because I think that would glue America together a lot better. I agree. I agree. You have something coming up. It's a human trafficking. Uh, yes, yes. Yes. Tell me about that. Well, I have a film out right now on iTunes. It's called Stopping Traffic. It talks about the ways that you can end human trafficking. Largest um, industry of selling human bodies today. We got to put an end to it. It's insane. We have to do it together. And if you watch my documentary called Stopping Traffic, you'll be able to learn awesome. how. Awesome. Where can they see this? On iTunes. It's iTunes it is. Yes. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Thank morning. you. Buckner at the 49th NAACP Image Awards, and I'm here with Jay Ellis, yeah. who is being nominated this evening yeah. for Outstanding Supporting, supporting actor. actor. The show is nominated right. uh, as Outstanding Comedy Series. Yes. My castmate Yvonne, who's around here somewhere, is nominated <laughs> for out, uh, Outstanding Supporting Actress. Awesome. The beautiful Issa Rae is nominated for Lead Actress. Awesome. Yeah. So how are you feeling? How do you feel about that? I feel, I feel pretty good. You feel good? Yeah, I don't know. It's slowly starting to hit me. I mean, when you see Kareem, right. then you're like, yeah, you're like Whoa. Whoa, this is real. Like, this is crazy. <laughs> right, yeah, it's, right, it's hitting right. me. It's hitting me. Good deal. Yeah. So, is this your first event, or you've been to several of these events before? I've been to several of these before, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you feel anything different in this room tonight? Any different vibe? I mean, there's been a lot of stuff going on in the media and the news, stuff that we want to eliminate. Do you feel anything different here tonight? I, you know, I don't. It, it feels For like you. it For feels you. like it always does to me. It feels like a lot of love, and it feels like a lot of really good people getting together to celebrate one another right. and to show the world that we're not backing down and we're not afraid, and we're going right. to continue to tell our stories right. and make our music right. and support one another right. and be this dynamic group of individuals and community that we are. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Buckner, I'm here with Tashina Arnold. Yes, Tashina. We are here. I'm here. <laughs> At the 49th <laughs> end of LACP Image Awards. How are you feeling tonight? I'm awesome. No complaints. Yeah, no complaints at all. So I have a question for you. Yes. Today and with a lot of the things that are going on with our media, um, the negative imagery, we are at the Image Awards. What do you have to say about our youth and playing everything out, watching everything that's going on as far as racist things that are happening. Um, do you feel that this event tonight has a more stronger purpose today than it did in 
Christmas year. Almost definitely. Every year we have more of, of a purpose to do what we have to do. Right. And especially when it comes to representing our youth, when it comes to presenting ourselves worthy of being able to lead our youth. Right. Um, and unfortunately, it's happening. But you know what? Things have to happen for things to change. Right. So I'm praying that what we've instilled in our youth thus far and what we've learned on our uh, on our on our own mm -hmm. will be able to apply it because it's it's needed yeah. we have to find the strength in ourselves to look and get past the bullshit i agree that's all i'm gonna say hey, about that if you if you can sense <laughs> if, you, if you could censor anything or anyone what or who would it be come on I'm well, you know what? I'm just asking. I would say a uh, little Don because I don't. He's not <laughs> president to me, but yeah, little Don. But he, that's too easy. Right. I would sense. Oh my God! I gotta get a picture. I gotta get a picture with oh, him. Yeah, I gotta get oh my picture. God! Sorry. Um, <laughs> go ahead, but go Jeff ahead. Sessions. Jeff I Sessions. want Jeff Sessions to go away. Okay. Thank you so much. I'm gonna jump in the cover. <laughs> This is Christina, the dental hygienist slash real estate agent slash actress slash model. <laughs> Sounds interesting, right? Yeah, I know. Meet me in my new show, Dear Christina, on Bid Chat. Oh, and by the way, Hillary or Trump?
I want to come out and support the community. Um, it's a great event to get out here, get the kids moving, get everybody up on some wellness and stuff. It's just a good time to come out and um, show support. Right. Is this your first one? This is my first one. Y'all be back next year? Yes, indeed. We'll All right. Now, where are you from? Lincoln High School. Hey. All right. I feel it. All right. Thanks for coming out. Represent yes, y'all. Thank you. We out. And also for Buzz the it up. we have 4900. Break down. Buzz it up. Break down. Buzz it up. Buzz it up. Break down! 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 Break down!